Hi, my name is John, and I'm a Developer Programs Engineer with Google AdMob. Today, I want to show you how to integrate the Mobile Ads SDK into your iOS project. But before I show you that, I want to tell you a little bit about the benefits of using AdMob. So let's dive in. The Google Mobile Ads SDK is probably the easiest way to make money with your app. We support four ad formats, including banner, interstitial, native, and rewarded. We also support mediation to help you serve ads from numerous ad networks. Interstitial ads are a really good looking way to provide a full screen ad experience to your users. Banner ads are probably the easiest way to get started and you can put them anywhere in your app. Rewarded ads give you a simple API to reward your users for viewing an ad and that might be good for a game for instance. Native ads give you a way to customize the look and feel of your ads. Before your app makes a ton of money though, you need to include the SDK in your project. So let's look at how to do that. The first step is to use CocoaPods to add the SDK to your pod file. The next step is to add your app ID to your info.plist. And finally, you'll initialize the SDK in your app delegate. Let's jump into the code. Here we are in our project directory, and you can see that we have a, an Xcode project. So the first thing I'll do is I'll type pod in it. And that's going to give us a pod file, which we can edit to include the SDK. So I'm just going to add the line pod. Pod Google Mobile Ads SDK. And then I'm going to save and quit. Now I'm going to type pod install dash dash repo dash update. And the repo update is important because it makes sure that CocoaPods has the latest pod specs for all the depend dependencies on your machine. Now that that's finished, let's move over to our workspace. You can see that CocoaPods created a new workspace that we can open in Xcode. And the first thing we'll do is we'll go into our info.plist by right-clicking it and doing open as source code. Here we're going to add a key, and that key is GAD application identifier. And that key has a value, which is a string. And that string is going to be your app ID. Obviously, use your actual app ID. Now that we've done that, we're going to go into our app delegate. And we're going to type at import Google Mobile Ads. Once we've done that, we can type Google Mobile Ads, shared instance, start with completion handler. And if you're using mediation, you can, you're going to wait until that completion handler has finished before attempting to load an ad. But if you're not using mediation, it's OK to set the completion hand handler to nil. The next step is to load an ad. And the way that you do that depends on which ad format you want to display. So we have a whole bunch of resources to help you on your journey. First of all, our developer guides are an excellent way for each ad format to read the documentation and to walk through what you need to do to load an ad. Our developer forum is a really good place to get a sense of the community, and you can turn there if you need technical help. Lastly, we have a whole bunch of examples on GitHub that walk you through the actual code of how to request an ad for our different ad formats. And that's it. So today we saw how easy it is to start making money by serving ads in your application using the Google Mobile Ads SDK. We also covered some resources in case you get stuck. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the AdMob channel for more technical content. Thanks.